Welcome back, everybody, to Looney's Garage here on a Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Um, this may be of interest. This just came in. Uh, it may be of interest to some of you. Um, I know maybe perhaps Mr. John Linden would be familiar with these. I know for a while <clears throat> up in here in Canada, these Volvos came into, uh, into the East Coast and were... Uh, uh, the parts were assembled there for sale in Canada. So this this is obviously a Volvo. Uh, it, it, it's it's listed as a '93. It looks more like a late '80s model. But anyways, kind of a neat thing about these things you can you can get in them. There's lots of things about this uh, game that's weird. Uh, you can try to start it. Doesn't start. Obviously, that's why it's here. Uh, we can't drive it. Not yet, anyways. Uh, so we close the door. We can open the, we can open and close the doors. We can... Uh, there's, there's... Open the trunk. What's in here? <laughs> no, no, no. There's no body in there. <laughs> uh, the, like, this... It's, it's pretty immersive. I mean, if, if we wanted to, we could do... Oh, that's a classic. That's a classic engine there. It's obviously a newer. My I had an older station wagon, 1982. It had the carburetor still. Uh, so you could you can change fluids like the radiator fluid. Oh, it looks like the radiator. It's interesting in this game if the the parts are really really rusty. Looking, it's probably at the end of its life cycle. Uh, so the, you see a lot of rusty parts, and uh, you you could get into painting in this game and everything. Anyways, so the story on this, uh, let's see if it gives a story. Yes, good morning. I uh, my car stopped working. It shut down suddenly. Got towed. Uh, and please do do what you can. And oh my goodness, look at that list of stuff. Uh, we can do we do the oil change and other tasks. Other tasks is uh, brake fluid, uh, changing all the fluids, and then this alternator, belt cam, the engine fuel filter pump, oil radiator, relay, belts, plugs, the starter is gone, timing belt's gone, water pump. Ah, uh, so uh, we better get this into the garage. Uh, let's move it in there. All right. Now, I'm not a mechanic, but I play one on TV. Actually, I did work as a mechanic for a while, so I'm 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 fairly familiar. I'm not a licensed mechanic. As a matter of fact, my uh, my uh, vocation is uh, auto body repair. I did that for f nearly 40 years. <laughs> Painting, body repair, uh, the exterior. But uh, I am very familiar with uh, the operation of... So let's, let's look at our list again. Oh, dear. Uh, this is a laundry list of stuff here. Uh, psh -psh -psh -psh. Wow, this is gonna this is gonna take a while. We'll have to go at it one at a time, I think. But uh, ooh, this is a, <laughs> it's a project. Oh, uh, I guess we should go get start just digging right in. Um, so another neat thing about this, let's put it down. Uh, this is definitely a project car. Uh, let's get the hood open so we can look at the engine here. And uh, can take a good look around. Oh yeah, see, look, see the uh, alternator looks pretty crappy. Water pump's bad. Idler looks bad. What's this? The starter? Yeah, it said the starter was done. Oil filter. Now we can see that these parts are rusty. Fuel filter. Now, what we can do is go into the car status, and we can highlight these items. 
a fuel filter, a fuel pump. Well, that would be at the back, typically. Uh, idler, ignition wires, oil filter, radiator, relay, uh, relay, serpentine, the spark plugs, we know where they are, the starter, timing belt, water pump. So here we go. Here's, you can see all the uh, highlighted blue items are the items that need to be changed. Along with the radiator. Yeah. So, some of these, obviously. Oh, relays up in here, up in the fuse box, of course. Uh, where did the... F you said fuel pump. Oh, yeah, see? Let's go out the back here. Uh, there you go. See the fuel pump's in the trunk. Actually, you can take that out now, but... What we can do is pre press down on the left D-pad and we'll add that to the list of items to purchase. I figured that one out pretty quick. Well, not quick. Uh, so we're going to need a starter. Press down, add it to list, starter. Uh, ignition wires, add that to the list of purchase. Fuel filter, yes, we'll need one of those. Alternator. Uh, let's scoot around here. Uh, okay, let's highlight our steering pump so we can get to the idler. We're going to need one of those. Uh, we can't get at the timing belt yet. I think it said serpentine belt was needed. Uh, and that one and a radiator let's go look at this uh, let's get this cover off uh, what did it say this fuse and that fuse uh, this timing cover oh you're gonna need to take off some other stuff first. All right, well, we need to drain the radiator. So to do that, we get into our list here and go to additional tools and drain tool. And we'll get that. This is obviously a simplified version of that. It would be much more complicated. And let's get that radiator cap off. Nope, we don't want to do that. We want to remove the radiator. And it is out. Again, <laughs> a much simpler process than what is shown here. Uh, these operations would take, um, depending on the situation, a fair bit of time, shall we say. Uh, hours even uh, let's get back into the engine can we get the timing cover how do we uh, we got to take all this other stuff off let's go with Ooh. Uh, I should be able to take off the serpentine belt there we go that's one's off take the belts off Uh, idler, we have that marked, uh, crankshaft, that's going to have to come off, whoop, need a little loosey-goosey there, and now we can take the timing cover, oh, let's, I haven't figured out how to really back off, you can highlight an item and then it'll focus in on it, there we go, so the timing belt tensioner we're gonna need cam gear we're gonna need timing belt all that good stuff uh, all right well we could take the water pump off
Alternator needs to come off. Whoop. A little rusty. I'm gonna get this belt tensioner off. And. Oh. Gonna have to take the. Uh, Gonna have to take the valve cover off. Oh, as per usual, it's a little sticky. There we go. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have to take these uh, camshaft off. Oh. That's not good. Never a good sign when you got a rusty bolt inside the engine. Oh, we haven't taken off the timing belt yet. Uh, well, there we go. That gears off. We didn't have to. Uh, spark plugs, ignition wires. Yeah, we could take those out. We're going to need spark plugs. Let's order those. We're pretty much disassembling this entire... Well, not entire engine, but a good many parts off of it. Uh, there we go. Spark plugs. They look pretty bad. Let's get this fuel filter off here. Whoops. Uh, what else is? What else do we need to? Do? Oh, the starter needs to come off. Now remember, this all this stuff would take better part of a day just to take off um, but it's neat that you can order these parts ahead of time which is what you do you go through the car and you assess what's needed you order them up you'll get them the same day usually depending on what part of the country you are or if you're in the city usually you get you get them within yeah, if, if they're a common part you get them within the hour by the time you've pulled said parts off or whatever. Uh, let's see if we can get this fuel pump off. There we go. <laughs> you see, now, again, uh, where is the gas tank? It looks like it's inside somewhere. Uh, you'd have to drop the tank unless there's an access point on the trunk that you can open up to access the fuel pump now uh, are we miss oh let's get that fuel filter or that oil filter off uh, I do believe uh, it's just oh it's the uh, clutch yeah, spark plugs we got uh, yeah, the clutch uh, bearing and clutch plate. That's going to be a bit of a process. Let's take these off for now so they don't... ...interfere with our... Uh, obviously, this is highlighted for our uh, viewing pleasure. Uh, okay, oil change. We might as well get that uh, done while uh, while we're here. So this one, we just uh, use the equipment. It drains out the oil. Voila. 
And we'll put it back. Uh, fluids. Yes. So what else? Uh, yeah, we'll have to fill the oil back up. Change the coolant. Yes, we drained it already. Power steering, washer, and brake fluid. Yeah, let's let's drop. Uh, well, we can do that later. We need to look at. Uh, we got to do the the clutch plate. Oh, we're gonna have to take off a bunch of stuff. Do, do, do. Let's look at. Okay, drive shaft's got to come off. Let's. Ooh, sorry about the camera thing. It's a little bit. Oh. Oh, we got to take the bolts off at the back. It was a bit of a bad angle, but... Now, typically, like I uh, said before, the uh, sometimes you'd have to take a torch to that. Now, gearbox. There we go. That would have taken uh, <laughs> a hot minute to do. Uh, clutch release bearing. Was that not on the uh, list? Yes, it is. Uh, let's get that ordered up. Uh. Oh yeah, look at that clutch plate. Uh, let's order that. There we go. Don't need to take the flywheel off. All right, I think we got all our parts off. What are we doing for time here? Oh, we got a little bit of time. Um, let's uh, let's go into our. No, we don't need outer tie rod, or wheel hub, sway bar. This is all from the last. Don't need the rear spring. All these other parts we're gonna need. All right, well, let's start with the fuel pump. Because I searched it, it automatically pulls it up. I can buy that. Fuel filter, buy that. Serpentine belt, buy one of those. Whoops. Uh, relay, oh, we'll have to go to a different spot for the relay. Uh, oops. Back uh, to electronics relay. There we go. Uh, while we're in there, we need ignition wires. Uh, anything else? Oh, relay. Where's the other relay? Relay B. There we go. Back here. Now, did I get a fuel filter? Cam gear, yeah. Clutch, clutch release bearing. Uh, start. Oh, start is going to be in the starting alternator, serpentine belt, timing belt, clutch plate, idler, radiator, belt tensioner. And spark plugs, okay. 
Uh, starter, yes. Alternator. And what did I say? The spark plugs. We'll need four of those. I think we're good. Lots of engine stuff. All right. Uh, okay. Well, we got all our parts. He's up in there. Uh, we'll call this uh, part one of the Volvo fix. We'll come back with part two uh, when we put it all together. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little diversion we're doing here at Looney's Garage. If you liked it, drop a like. Um, if you, uh, um, you know, if if you uh, w want to subscribe, <laughs> that'd be great too. And remember, it's just a game, so have some fun with it. Till next time.